Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're going to be making a shape layer preset of this little bathroom man set. I always find myself using this symbol quite a bit. And every time I do, I always have to go and search for it and find it and bring it in here. And it's about time I just turn this into a preset so I don't have to worry about it again. And I, we can do this with shape layers and add some cool functionality to it. I've also made this as a preset that you can download. It's a free download. There's a link in the description or you can click on the annotation if you're on a YouTube desktop. So what it is, is I can come in here. I can switch between if it's a man or a woman. I can change the color. Uh, the stroke and the stroke size and things like that. And I'm actually going to add some more in this video um, to this preset that is the one that you'll be able to download more than I have here. So let's go about building this. Let's go ahead and just delete that shape layer and this text. So to do this, we need a vector graphic. And so I have found a .svg graphic of these guys. And this is in Illustrator. And what you can do in Illustrator is you can copy these paths and paste them into After Effects. So I just need to go in here. I'm going to right click, isolate the selected group, and just select the one or the other. Let's start with the female sign, hit copy, and then we just go back over to After Effects. Let's create a new shape layer because that's what we're going to be applying it to. And if I hit paste, well, it does nothing. But if we look in here, you can see that there is now a mask, mask one and two. That's the head and the body. So we need to come into these contents. and Let's add a couple of things. Let's first add a group call this woman and in that group we're going to add a path a fill and a stroke and then let's duplicate that group and call the other one man so let's go into that path we're gonna to have to duplicate that path we want two paths forgot to do that on this one too so two paths a stroke and a fill so let's go down to the mask highlight the path there's no keyframes or anything but there's still data there copy it paste and let's go to the other mask, copy, paste. Now let's go over and let's grab the man, copy it, highlight the layer. Let's delete these old masks. Highlight the layer, paste on these masks, and then let's go ahead and just hide that woman layer, that group. Let's take this path, copy it, and that's looking like that's the body, so I'm going to want to switch these around because I want the head on top. And then go to Mask 2, copy it, paste it on. So that's the basics. These are now shape layers, and I can turn them on and off. So what we want to do now is let's create um, some controllers to this. Because we don't want this always to be red with, you know, a white stroke on it. So let's go to Effects, Expression Controls. Let's add first a checkbox. Let's call this one man slash woman. This is going to be, we can determine which one we want to be visible. And how a checkbox works is this outputs a number. It has a value to it. When there is no check, it's equal to zero. When there is a check, it's equal to one. So we can use that number to drive the opacity on these groups down here. So the first one is this man group. And so opacity is set at 100. And we want it to be one that's checked to be 100. So that's easy enough. Let's go to hold down Option or Alt. Click on the stopwatch. Let's pick whip that checkbox. And then hit times 100. Now for the woman, what we can do is since we just want it to be opposite of this one. So let's come down here to the opacity on that woman group. Option or Alt, click on the stopwatch and type 100 minus the opacity of the man group. And so what that'll do is when this is at 100, that'll be at zero. Click the checkbox and they swap. So now I can Choose which one is visible. Now let's go in and add some color controls to this. So let's add a color control for the fill color and then the stroke color. Let's come into the fill, option or alt click on 
the stopwatch, grab the fill color. We want to do that on both groups. And then the same thing with the stroke. Okay, let's go ahead and change these colors. Let's have the stroke black. Let's make the fill color white. Now let's add another couple of things. Let's add, we can change the opacity on the fill and let's change the width of the stroke. So let's go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a slider. Fill Opacity. Let's bring it up here next to the fill so they're next to each other. And let's duplicate it, bring that down, and let's call this Stroke Width. Let's set this right now to 100 and the width to 10. So then let's go back down here to the contents. And under the stroke, option click on the stopwatch. Grab the stroke width. And then same thing on the woman layer. Set that to two, that was looking better. Now let's go back into the fill. Opacity, option click on the stopwatch. Set that to the fill opacity. And now we can change the opacity. That looks pretty cool. And what that means is we can say turn the opacity all the way down. And then we've got kind of this outline look. And what we can do is we can do a cool write on technique. So let's add one more slider. So I just duplicated that bottom slider. Let's call it a write on. Let's set that to 50%. Now let's bring it down to zero right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect to each group, which is the trim paths. And on this woman layer, for some reason, it creates this kind of line here, but that's easy to get rid of. We also want to decide where we want this to start writing on. So I'm going to hit 99% on the end, and it creates kind of this break. And so then I can move my offset till right up here in the middle where I want it. And then you can see it writes on. And if I switch this from simultaneous to individual, well, then it'll kind of do one at a time. Then we just pick whip. So we use a, an expression option, alt click on the stopwatch, pick whip to the right on slider. Let's duplicate that, stick it into the man group. And so then we've got right on for the woman. And With the man, we probably want it to be in a different spot. So let's go into that man group, and all we have to do is just change where that offset is. That looks good right there. And then there we go. So that is the preset. So how do we save this as a preset with shape layers? And it's really simple. You just want to make sure you have your content right here, contents and effects. Both of these I want to have highlighted. Let's go to animation, save animation preset, give it a name, and then now when we search over here we can find the preset. And how an, a shape layer preset works is I can go ahead and just delete this and you can either go up create a new shape layer and then apply it to it but the easiest way is just to take that preset double click on it and it'll create the shape layer and it'll add all this to it so there is our preset and you can also try to build this yourself it's really kind of fun to do that or you can click on the link in the description and you can go and just download this preset for free it's made for cs6 and above so thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned some cool stuff about presets shape layers and a little bit about expressions and if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.